Hello everyone. In this video, uh, we will be talking about the concept of middleware in NestJS. So the concept of middleware in NestJS is similar to the concept of middleware in ExpressJS. So uh, let's move forward. So you see, um, the client sends the request to the server, uh, an HTTP request. And from NestJS, we have learned that uh, the request uh, like are handled by the controller like at which route the request should go to so that is uh, what we learned in our very initial videos um, but middleware comes just before the controller so whenever you send a request it goes to the middleware first and then it goes to the controller so middleware can be more than one uh, like for example like this so if there are more than one middlewares, the request goes to sequentially. For example, it goes to the first middleware and then goes to the second middleware. If there are more than one, then it keeps going on until the last middleware and then it goes to the controller. So there are two uh, main types of middlewares, uh, like two ways in which you can create a middleware. One way is uh, through class and the other one is through function. So you, we will be uh, learning this, um, going through a bit of an example in theory about this logger middleware. Uh, we will create this logger with the, uh, as a class middleware as well as a functional middleware. So moving forward, uh, let's create a class middleware. So creating a class middleware is pretty simple. Uh, you first create a class, export it, and this class particularly, whatever the name of the class you can defi define, here it is logger middleware it needs to implement nest middleware okay so that is uh, the core of it and then it should be an injectable it should be like it should have a injectable decorator a decorator that we deeply study uh, in our dependency injection lectures so it lets the class to be injected to wherever you want it to be injected so that is what the meaning of this injectable is so basically it uh, the middleware that you use uh, has three ty types of arguments request response and next request means whatever the request is coming and response means whatever the response is going to go but there is a bit of a uh, comparison difference between a middleware and interceptor which we will study later on so request response and the next the next function determines and the next function is used to send the request to whatever the next middleware is or if there is no next middleware then the responsibility of next is to send to the controller so next doesn't know where the request goes to next only means that the work of this middleware is done the request should go ahead that is what the meaning of the next is that is why the middleware in nextjs is also considered as dump because it doesn't even know where the request will go forward to so it doesn't have that much intelligence knowledge or whatever you can say to figure out or to know that where the request would go to so let me show you this from this loggy so let's say um, i am in this middleware and it calls next this middleware does not know that if it calls next will it the request go to this middleware or will it, will it go to the controller or will it or will it go somewhere else next only means the work of this middleware is done the request should go ahead to next destination and whatever that destination may be so moving forward, this is a uh, boilerplate code. Uh, you have to like import. Uh, these are like the types request, response, and next function. These are the types which we import from Express. And injectable is a decorator, and nest middleware is something that needs to be implemented by whatever the class that you intend to make as a middleware. So now we have created a middleware. Just because you have created a middleware doesn't mean that the job is done. You have to define where this middleware is applicable to so and that application is done by registering a middleware so here in this example we are registering a middleware in our app module there are basically two ways of registering a module one way is to register within a module and the other ways other way to register a module is globally globally means that that particular middleware will be applicable towards to all of the controllers routes it is like application wide but when you apply the middleware uh, for a module then that middleware is only applicable for that particular module in this example the module is app so you can say that it is going to be for an entire app so now how do you actually register uh, this 
so you can see that uh, we are in module file we always use uh, at the right module decorator that we also learned earlier uh, imports exports and stuff like that comes in but this is uh, not important for middleware for middleware uh, what you have to do is you have to implement nest module and then here you have configure uh, as a function which takes one argument of consumer the type of the consumer is middleware consumer which is extracted from nest.js common so you use consumer dot apply and then dot for routes so basically this dot apply is where you register your module so here you can see that we have given logger module and then you also apply like to which route this particular middleware is applicable to so for our example this for this is like a, a default example which is given in the nice docs you can also figure it out you can google it you will find this example in the docs so this particular logger middleware is applicable uh, let me explain this this logger middleware is applicable on app module for the routes of only and only cats controller this is what this configuration means i hope it is clear to you now let's move forward towards functional middleware just like i said there are two steps for a middleware to be functional like to be applicable so one is to create and the other one is to register so the creating functional is pretty simple like just like we previously exported a class right now we have to export a function here we don't have to apply any of the decorator and these three types are imported uh, just like earlier so here we again have three types of uh, arguments request response and next and here you can do anything uh, like whatever you want to do so we will be like doing some sort of uh, a bit of uh, work in our uh, practical demonstration not just logging this out so you have created a uh, middleware and the and the registration is just like um, you register a class controller you use consumer dot apply and dot for routes like for the routes you want for it to be registered to for so as i told you earlier that there can be more than one middleware uh, so multiple middlewares can be applied with the help of a comma like this so as you can see that we have a course helmet and logger so the request would go sequentially it would first go to course and then helmet and then logger and then at the end it will go to the controller so this is how you apply multiple uh, middlewares for a particular module so you can also choose to exclude certain routes and even for a route you can choose to exclude certain methods for example here uh, you have to use dot exclude and in this object you have to give the path and then the method for which you want your uh, middleware to be excluded so for the get method on the cat's path this particular middleware will not be applicable this is what it means so global middleware uh, the creating of middleware is same only the registration part differs in global middleware so you can you must know about this app dot use you must if you are coming definitely from a express js background so this is how we used to apply the middleware there so you have to, you have to use app dot use in your main dot ts file to apply that particular middleware i hope the explanation was uh, clear to you so in our next video we will be uh, doing all of this practically so let me do there thank you